Amen. It's the second book of the Minor Prophets. Amen. Hosea, then Joel. And we will read, as was our scripture reading earlier, verses 28 through 32. Amen. <clears throat> Beginning at verse 28. Let's all begin reading now. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord hath said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Amen. And may the Lord bless the reading, hearing, and now preaching of his holy word. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you now for this wonderful, gracious, glorious opportunity to share the word of God, to receive the word of God. And Lord God, giving us another opportunity to act upon the word of God. Now, Lord God, we pray that you will have your way right now in the message as well as the messenger, Lord God. Lord God, give the hearers of your message, oh God, an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And we thank you for it. We give your name, Lord, all the glory and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We are yet maximizing our vision. And today I would like to use as a subject ultimate restoration. Ultimate restoration. Now we've talked the last couple of Sundays about restoration. Amen. Amen. And this is coming out of our vision for this ministry. Amen. Amen. Our vision is to see every person reborn, rebuild, restore, and grow their lives on the word of God by the spirit of God one verse at a time. Amen. That's our church vision. Okay. Now, uh, we, we're walking through this so that we have a full understanding of the vision. Amen? Amen. We want you to know what it means when we say reborn. We want you to know what it means when we say rebuild. And we have covered those two points. And we are now on restore. What does it mean to restore your life on the word of God and by the spirit of God one verse at a time well praise the Lord it should first come to us amen before we take it out there to the world praise the Lord amen so that this is uh, one of the various reasons why we are going through these particular points and walking through the vision so that you can read it and run with it amen our vision is to see every person restored, restored. Rest restoration is a very important term in the Bible. You see, because every man, woman, boy, and girl needs restoration. We all need it. Because we were born in sin, we were shaped in iniquity, we've all blown it, we've all 
erred. We've all made mistakes. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. Amen. So therefore, at no matter what age you receive Jesus Christ, you are being restored from a fallen place. You are being restored from a fallen position. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Every man has fallen. Moses fell. David fell. Jeremiah fell. Hosea fell. Joel fell. Now somebody. But we must needs be restored. Amen. And we want to see along with ourselves, every person possible, their life restored to what God has intended, planned, and prophesied it to be. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Now, we looked at last week, we looked at those, 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 those locusts, those locusts, Ooh, those locusts, and God said, this was my army that I raised up. It didn't even come from the devil. See, 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 it's, 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 it's something about when God does a work. Amen. God does a perfect work. God don't leave nothing out. God does a complete work. Amen. Amen. God just didn't send one locust. Amen. The Bible talks about he sent a swarm of locusts. Amen. They, they were crawling locusts. They were consuming locusts. They were eating locusts. All kind of locusts. Amen. If you, were, if you go back to chapter 1 in Joel verse 4, the word of the Lord reads, That which the palm worm hath left hath the locust eaten, and that which the locust hath left hath the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm hath left hath the caterpillar eaten. Oh. Amen. <laughs> so ain't nothing left. <laughs> That'll make you turn your face toward God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll have you running back to the altar. That'll have you at the cross on your knees. Especially when God starts messing with the food. Uh -oh. Now it's one thing for God to mess with the money. Because some of us got some got some got some green stamps and some 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 blue stamps and some come on. Some some Plastic cards, amen. We, we, we still gonna get some beans and peanut butters, amen. We gonna have something in the house. But when God send the locusts, you ain't even gonna have nothing to eat. So God sent the prophet Joel, Joel prophesied, and thanks be to God, Judah repented. They called the fast. They called the solemn assembly. The people came together. The word of the Lord went forth. The people fell down before God and repented. And turned to the living God. We got to turn to the living God. All of us need to turn. You know, you can get caught up even after you get saved. Amen. David said, I was almost gone sitting in church. Come on. Now that's the Pope version, amen. But that's what he said. Yeah. In the assembly of the saints, 
I was almost gone. But thanks be to God. To his great love. And his great mercy. But we have to repent. We have to turn back to him. And when we turn back to him. When we agree that Lord I'm wrong. And you are right. Lord what I say is error. What you say is true. Lord my way is crooked. Lord your way is straight. Lord my way is rough. But your way is plain. Lord my way stinks. But your way smells real good. And you shall eat in plenty. Yes. And 
and be satisfied. Have you ever eaten and got up and was not satisfied? Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, sometimes we eat Chinese food. Amen. But I guess that's why most of them are underweight and most of us are overweight. And I'm in there over. I'm in there. Just wanted to make sure y'all was awake. That's all right. Make sure you was awake. that all of these worms ate up. You will eat in plenty and you will be satisfied. And it's more than just your stomach is satisfied, but your entire appetite gonna be satisfied. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, it's kind of like after Thanksgiving dinner. You know what I'm saying? You don't even want to see no more food. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. And I mean, after all of the ham and all of the turkey and then, and all of the fried chicken and then all the stuffing and then all the vegetables and, 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 and then you have pecan pie, cake, apple pie, raspberry pie, cream cake and corn puffs and... <laughs> You finally step away from the table, you go, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Can't even watch the whole football game. First quarter. Will you be satisfied and eat in plenty? But the prophet declared, you will praise the name of the Lord your God. You will give him the glory. Woe be unto us. God manifests the restoration and then we don't give him the praise. But God said, you shall praise me. The one who has done wondrously with you. Oh, yes. God has done a wondrous thing in our lives. Oh, yeah. It is no less than wonderful. No less. Yeah, I know you look at all the stuff you don't have right now. You're looking at your trials, your challenges, your tribulations. You're looking at how, 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 how little you got over here and, and how ain't, ain't, this one over here is empty. Oh, but don't, don't be mistaken. God has done wondrously with us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he said, my people shall never be ashamed. Boy, that's a wonderful promise. That's a, that means you can walk through the earth with your head up, with your shoulders straight. Hallelujah. You don't have to have a bowed down back. You don't have to have feeble knees. Y'all not talking back to me. Hallelujah. You got five dollars in your pocket. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. You got gas in the car. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, man. amen. You got a you got a you got a, a whole month bus ticket. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Every 
everybody else scraping up nickels and dimes trying to just get a bus ticket for right now. Yeah. And you got a whole month pass. 